before we pin this pin this cast I've drilled the holes I've made indices with a brassler burr next to each hole that are a little extra anti-rotation they can't be undercut okay these indices cannot be undercut if you take an eight round burr that's okay except you have more tendency to undercut them and if they're undercut then the base is not going to pull off of there so you have to be sure that they're not undercut Otherwise, there's some anti-rotation and they help me know where the pins are once this whole thing is buried in stone. All right. Then I'm going to look ahead and I want to cut out the center that we're going to use for boxing. So I put it on a piece of boxing wax and I'll take and cut out the center piece and then we'll save that. And that's what this, what this is. So it fits in there perfectly. So when it comes time to box it, we've got that center done. All right. So. Otherwise, we're going to use super glue, cyanoacrylate, 910 adhesive. The holes have been steamed out, and the little bit of moisture that's in the stone from steaming them is going to help this glue set a little bit too. And so the cast is not perfectly dry, and the holes are nice and clean. We need to put some super glue in a little bit of a wax well and dip the pins in so that they go in the holes and the glue gets down in the holes. I've tried a pin in each one of these holes already to make sure they go in all the way. Okay. The flat side of the pin goes to the mesial and distal, to the interproximal space, so that it allows me a little bit more room to saw cut between them. Otherwise, we're just taking each pin. We have to be sure that they're fully seated. And they should fully seat so that uh, the, there's no knurled part. In other words, this little part should not be sticking up visible at all once, it's, once they're glued into the cast. Like that. Now the excess little puddle of glue needs to be removed. So whether we take that with a little piece of gauze or a Q-tip, if we don't remove that puddle of glue, then it doesn't let the red sleeves seal seat all the way down so that needs to be you've got to be sure you clean that out uh, don't blow it with an air hose you're going to blow the glue out of the holes and we've had people blow it and uh, get super glue in their eye and that's not a good thing okay if you're impatient and you want it to set up right away you can use zap it which is an accelerator for the super glue and give it a little little spray of that the zappet is a little caustic, so be a little careful with it. But it will uh, make the super glue set instantly. Make sure all the pins are, are, are um, stable. Yep. So now we'll check these, make sure they're not spinning or rotating or loose in there. They should be perfectly tight. Once that glue is perfectly set, then we can put the sleeves on. If the glue is not set, you're going to be gluing these sleeves onto the pin and then the cast is not going to come apart. The, the red sleeves are going to stay in the base. And the little shoulder goes down. These pins are tapered. So if you put, try and put it on upside down like this, it's not going to want to seat all the way. It gets tight right there. So then you know you're upside down. The shoulder stays down. And lastly, we put a little black cap that goes on the top of each pin to keep the pins exposed once it's in the stone. Once this is buried in the stone, we'll, uh, we want the ends of the pins exposed. We'll take the caps off so that uh, we can push the dies out and the segments out. So it'll look like that before we start boxing. Now we're going to box this so that we can pour the base. There are other ways to do this, there, but I'm not going to go into those right now. We're going to go ahead, since we're just doing one or two models, we're going to box them and pour the base the way, the, the way we do here. All right, we'll start out with rope wax to go all the way around the, the cast, put the center in, finish it off with the boxing wax. Okay. Start out by making your rope wax pliable, soften it up a little bit so that it bends around the little corners. Okay. 
I want to make this flush with the edge. I'm going to start at the center, okay, and I want to go right to basically the top, the flat surface, as carefully as I can. If you soften your wax and it's pliable, you should be able to adapt it pretty nicely. So it's flush. I don't want any of the sides of this exposed. Okay, now I can take and seal it from this edge. I'm not answering that either. Can I do this to a wet model? No, you can't do this to a wet model because the wax won't stick to a wet model. Your model's got to be dry. So you can, you can try and dry it with an air hose and, and that'll work sometimes. But if the model is really soaking wet, the wax won't stick. So get your number 45 wax spatula really hot. Okay. And we're gonna seal it from this side. Because I don't want any wax on the surface the under surface of this where we're going to pour our stone. If I have any wax on here, it makes a void in the base. And then we can't tell if things are seeding all the way. We don't want any voids in the base. So that side has to stay nice and clean. Okay. So now we're sealed all the way around. I got no wax on here. Okay. Sometimes you can put a Another piece of rope wax across the back here. Uh, it's not necessary. The piece that we cut out is going to sit right on top of here. Okay, like that. So it's actually seating, sitting up. Okay, the rope wax is flush. This needs to sit on top of it. And that provides us with some extra room for sawing. So when we're sawing out the die, the tip of the saw is not running into the center. So I'm going to seal that down. So that looks like that. Now we can just go around it with our boxing wax. Okay. Same thing, I'm going to soften this wax up so it adapts. So that it'll bend properly and make things a lot easier. Make sure that the walls are coming straight up. And I'm going to seal it down. Sorry. Right. So I'm tipping this so that the wax doesn't run onto my stone base. And for good measure, if you want to, you can go ahead and seal it from the tooth side. But try not to get wax, wax on your teeth. But if you've, if you've sealed it good from the other side, you should be fine. Okay, so we get all done. It should look like that. Then once you spray the Super Sep on here, right before you pour the stone in, or 20 seconds before you pour your stone in, we'll pour the stone right up to the edge of the black caps. And if you get a little bit over, that's okay. Just take your finger and wipe off to expose where the caps are. And then your bases will be poured and done.